Hello traders and welcome to the Forex Bowl Trading Academy educational session. In today's video, I will be talking about how to identify and draw support and resistance levels. I know there are a lot of different ways, but from what I have experienced by watching multiple videos, they are more or less the same. Every video shows the same information. But in this video, we will be talking about something different. You will learn how to find support and resistance levels. You will learn what indicators could be used to spot these key supply and demand areas. And finally, how to improve your trading with all this information. You probably all know the way to spot the support and resistance levels by using the previous information. This is a pretty simple way. You find the lines where price is finding the support and then resistance. So basically rejecting it from one side, then rejecting it from another side. And this level becomes a level of interest. Now, in our example right there, we can see that there was support resistance. And if I zoom it, this level has been acting as the support along with the rejection of 200 simple moving average. So this just gives an extra confidence about this level once again and as many rejections you have the stronger this level becomes now how to use this price action so imagine you had three bounces because two usually is not enough we need more to see the importance of this level so what we had here is one two and three we could use this information further for example to set up a trade whether it's a short long it will of course depend on your strategy but one level of course is not enough you would need to see what would be a stop loss what can be your take profit and for this reason we need to analyze multiple time frames so this was the simple way and you can see in this example i have used this three points with a clean rejection and this is the candlestick chart. We cannot just consider support and resistance levels just as a line because usually it is an area. It is an area of demand or supply. This is the area of interest for traders. So not always we will get these perfect examples, obviously, but this one is just I found straight away after I opened the chart. In fact, I just found it live with you. I didn't look at the chart before that. So what we can do is to use not only candlestick charts with the weeks, but the closing price with the line chart. Here we will see different levels, of course. For example, this level has been a resistance, twice a resistance. And in the future, it will be again a very important level if price will get there. So for example, if we see that this level is retested, it would be reasonable to short at this price. But how would you short if you don't know whether there will be a breakout or not? For this reason, because you don't know if price will break or not. So you cannot just short. It might bounce, it might not. But if you have a breakout, you have a confirmation. So you need to wait for breakouts and not just bounces because bounces could be false you could be price could be spiking and then going in the opposite direction so best is to go with the breakouts rather than the rejections and in this case for example the dollar canadian if the price will be breaking to the upside it will do something like that obviously now we have this confirmation and now the only thing we need to wait is the perfect price which will be this level this support level because there was a breakout at the same time, we have here support, resistance, support. Now, right there, we had this breakout. Then what we would need is the corrective move to the upside and then short. But where would be your take profit? Now, for this, we need again to find the support level. And here, what we could spot is potential support right there because we had multiple bounces. We had three bounces of this level. And if we extend it further, there was four bounces there was even more there was support resistance resistance and clearly price has entered this support area which has been rejected and just look at this clean rejection of the support now of course if you would have entered the sell at this stage the ideal take profit would have been at this price and you would need to calculate 
what should be a risk to reward of course if you go short so for example enter at the resistance place the take profit at this support and risk to reward ratio should be two at least so you're, you're risking $100 for example to gain 200 in this case you would have ideal trade setup at the same time what we can do is look at multiple time frames because one time frame may may not be enough because we are always looking at perfect entry and this we can do only for example on one hour chart but do the main analysis on the daily time frame and let's have a look at the daily chart what is happening right there straight away we can spot this resistance area because we had a lot of bounces and more bounces you have the better it is so for example if price breaks above this resistance what we could do is watch for this rejection if there is a buying opportunity right there if price broke and didn't reject or didn't reach the next resistance then we can trade it but at the same time if price broke to the upside but rejected the second resistance what is the point to enter there is no point you need to wait for the breakouts no point in trading the rejection but of course this is only my personal view and experience many traders successfully trade the rejections somehow they find these confirmations but it's only up to your trading strategy just sharing my personal experience now let's remove all all what we have and start fresh another way to find support resistance is to find bounces of the moving averages we're looking now at the daily time frame and this is of course a big picture and i'm just scrolling back to see where we will have these rejections right there we had the rejection of the moving average right there we had the rejection of the moving average what it makes it this makes it a very important area and as you can see there was a clean rejection of this area then price went down this is a daily chart so this is a huge move and this is how you could use it now if we go to five minute chart we had the rejection of the moving average so this could be the resistance moving back there was the rejection of the 200 exponential moving average you can see how precisely price rejected this level and right there we can we can put multiple of them but of course there is no point in going too far back into the history you need the most recent price action so try to not go too much back and now the final support we found it has been acting as the resistance as well you can see so these levels work even with the moving averages you can use either 200 or 50 either simple or exponential moving average it's up to you but i always use 50 and 200 it can be simple and exponential usually I have four of them on my chart when I analyze the market so right there what could be the trade setup using the moving averages first off there is a support and we marked the resistance here so we saw that there is a resistance because there was a rejection and we need a breakout what sort of breakout we need here is of course break below the recently printed low there was a breakout and there was a support so potentially we could have traded the market once the price corrected up and short at this stage because this was the support so shorting opportunity and then yet again we would need to find the bottom what could be this price right there and obviously for this we need to scroll back in history and mark some levels for example right there it's very obvious that this was the very strong resistance this is the area this is not just a line and if we scroll now back this could have been our profit target ideally and if we short right there our profit target right there so risk to reward ratio of two and we would never touch it price didn't touch it and of course we ideally we always need to place the stop loss above the previous resistance level now another way and the final way that i will share with you now is to use the trend lines or the channel even to find these key levels this is the channel that i'm gonna draw so using two highs and the low in between them and this is another way we see where the price is either breaking the channel or rejecting it this was a clear breakout so this level becomes the resistance and of course ideally 
for shorting but make sure you don't wait until the price goes down quite a bit then retraces to short it if there was a breakout there is a short on pullback on the first very first pullback don't wait for the price to do anything it wants and then uh, trade a few days later so it must be timing you must act as soon as you spot the breakout and we can use multiple channels at the same time so yet another channel we can draw right there connecting two highs and the low in between them yet again what we see is the potential breakout but no price didn't break what is extremely important is to see that there was a confirmation of the breakout whichever you trade so for example this was our low we need now to confirm break below this low and if i'm using five minute chart we need to check higher time frames for this breakout if there is no breakout no point to trade so let's go 15 minute chart on 15 price broke that's perfect 13 minute chart no breakout so i would be already very cautious in uh, in treating this as the breakout in fact i would i would suggest that this was the rejection so for me there would be no sell signal only buy signal another thing 30 minute chart what we see is a clean rejection of the 50 simple moving average so this is our level of support right now and if we break to the upside consider this was the rejection now if we break to the upside we might look for the buying opportunity while the price goes up and then corrects down and then perhaps we can go long at this stage at the same time it will be the rejection of the channel and finally let's have some examples with the trend lines and probably let's go with a one hour chart another tool of course trend lines always the best we're connecting two lines two highs okay so this is very simple with the channel you would just add another line parallel line with the through the lowest point in between these two highs now here we don't have any sort of breakout let's have a look where we do in regards how to draw the trend lines we already did the video and you can find it in our channel but of course there is different ways on how you can do it and there is no right or wrong way so just uh, check our channel for the videos on the trend lines and what we have simple uptrend trend line there was a breakout and this makes it a resistance because this was the breakout line so we can see that it acted as the resistance as well now i, I could use another uh, example on a downtrend and here we're connecting high and then another high we could do high this high and this high so yeah this could be a lot of ways of how you can draw it we see the break above the trend line and we can mark this level so what we have now is the resistance area spotting this resistance area which might result now if we go back to the 30 minute chart so why not to target this area after the breakout easy so our ideal entry would be at this price because this is the support this is where price rejected the moving average cleanly and if now it breaks to the upside this is what we can do so target this area and stop loss we need to have risk of reward ratio two or more ideally so right there we will have risk to reward of two and this could be our trade setup in regards to the stop loss of course we need to place it below the key levels another support level and we can spot it straight away this is the key support established previously we need to have it below and you can see ideally the risk reward ratio of two and we have this setup for the dollar versus canadian dollar so this is the way on how to use this support and resistance levels you can use it either by connecting multiple points where price is bouncing you can apply it to the point where the price rejected or broke below or above the trend line same for the channel break above or below the channel or rejection of the channel and you can do the same again on the moving averages so there are so many ways how you can spot them and at some point you will find this line where it goes in line with your channel with your trend line with your moving average if you do it on multiple time frame and then you will find this key area guys don't forget don't go too back into history unless you need to find something like we did here 
for the target but usually it's best to stay with the most recent price action so that was it i hope you enjoyed it if you did i would like to see a lot of likes and of course click that subscribe button and notification bell to follow all our educational videos that we're doing every single week along with the market analysis and live trade setups take care until next time